Hey everybody, welcome back. So, uh, I just noticed something. You guys are going to laugh at this. So this is our setup, automated setup here. I got a couple more coal boilers going. Uh, the ore go in, goes in here, goes through here, goes through the macerator, dumps down here into the steam furnace. I built one of those. And then uh, another hopper is in there going into this chest, which works well. Though you got to be careful with the gold. I'll show you what I mean there in a minute. But I just looked over here and yeah... Uh, these have never been hooked up. This has been here for like m several hours basically to do all this and Yep, here. I'm a special person. That's all I can say <laughs> But anyways, it's working fine water's great um, Let me tell you about the gold and why you have to be careful. Oh, I died recently. I was afk in my front yard Don't afk out there. It could get deadly um, so if we go ahead and check out gold here, I think it's up here actually. Uh, so if you look at the uh, recipes here, you put it in a macerator and then you put it into a furnace, it turns into gold nuggets. Now you do get more out of it per thing, but then you would have to compress it if you wanted to, uh, get, you know, your ingots itself back. And that, that to me is not worth it to be honest. But, uh, uh, yeah, so some recipes are like that. Just be careful. You want to go through them. Uh, some of them you can fix by using hammers and blah, 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 which we'll, we'll get into over time. But uh, uh, either way, yes, that's that's doubling some of those ores, which is great. That's what we kind of wanted anyways. Um, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a few items here. So we wanted to build ourselves... Oh, I have some screws on me. I was like, where did they go? Okay, so we wanted to build uh, some anvils for a quest last time. So we had these uh, in here. Uh, I have everything for that. Uh, so that's really good. It's for the... Uh, yeah, I think it's for the compressor. Not the compressor, but the uh, the other guy there. The uh, crusher or whatever. The hammer. That's what it was. I think that's what it's for. So we got that done. Um, so you item reward. Um, okay, you get both of those. So that's pretty cool. We'll just get rid of that block there. And then uh, let's go back here, see what else we've done. So I've found Lazarite, uh, the lapis uh, vein here. It took me, honestly, it was probably the 50th or so. You can see all my waypoints. I would say I have about 50. That's where I found it, right here. So look at how far I went all through here, up here. Um, and basically, yeah, it was over here. Wow, maybe I am really Canadian. I went down there, it was a mess, and I just wrote Mineshaft, eh? Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, so I found some other good ones that we needed to, and I got that, but, uh, yeah, I think it was that. The mica or whatever, or is that what the, uh, the other one? Anyways, uh, gypsum maybe that was, but, uh, either way, we got quite a bit of them, so... Um, we're gonna need those anyways. Yeah, cool. So you can get calcium or gypsum. It's up to you now The calcite seemed to be the one I was the lowest on so you could go for that instead But then there was another one for the gypsum as well so you can get that as well So it's really what you have the lowest amount at I think at the time I don't know if one is rarer than the other to be fair. That's the only th issue. So it has a weight of 40 Okay this has a weight of 80, okay. And what does the uh, magnetite have a weight of? Let's let's look at that, shall we? Oh, and I might have not even been looking at the right weight, to be honest. You have a weight of 160, okay. So the one with the lowest weight, are you saying, is actually these guys? Let's actually look at it. So you have calcite. Let's look at calcite directly. So it has a weight of 40. And then the other material we're going to need for our thing is the gypsum has a weight of 80. And let's just double confirm. So Fuller's Earth has a weight of 60. Uh, this should have a pretty low weight. Yeah, 40. Pyrite, 100. Banded Iron, 110. So yeah, basically Calcite has the lowest. Uh, so that kind of makes sense because, you know, for the gypsum, I would say I was getting about... Well, I have, I think, three or four veins of it. So, yeah, I'm going to go for that then. That, that'll that be my choice. It could be a bad choice, but I'm going to go, say, Calcite. I think Calcite would be the, the worth reward there. So, anyways, that's you know the veins that you're going to need anyways for those guys. So, there you go. We'll grab both of those. And there we have it. So, we have a bunch of Calcite dust ready. Um, I was like, where did it go? Don't really need to eat that. Yeah, I didn't quite organize things after. Well, I did a wee bit, but uh, yeah, my poor. Uh, there you go. Did we try putting you in there. I guess we did. Yeah. There you go. 
Okay. Wait, what did I just put in there? I do that sometimes, uh, quite often actually, where I try to put something in there that I meant to, and I put it in the wrong spot, and it's like, kerp derp, there you go. We'll put you guys down there. Okay, so we got all those ores, and that was good, and that was going to be towards our blast furnace. Um, I did make a seam furnace. The seam furnace was pretty simple. Um, that way we could uh, obviously go ahead and do that all automated there and not have to worry about a regular furnace. Um, and then other things got done. What was another thing? I made a lead. I had already a saddle and a fence, and these were retrieval quests, so I got those done. Okay. Um, is there anything else on this page? Oh, yes, there was iron ore. Finally found actual iron ore. I forget which. Was that the... Uh, I think that was the copper vein one. I think I finally found that under, but that's good. You have a choice reward. Uh, let's go for iron berries, I guess. I don't know if I've grabbed those before, but that's fine. And if we go to forestry farms, I've created the work table here. So the work table is actually quite easy, but uh, that allowed me to basically craft in bulk. Uh, what I mean by that is if we go down here, um, basically I wanted to use up this creosote. So I took all our buckets and I dumped them in here. And this is like a, a fake recipe pretty much. So you take all your buckets full of creosote and you throw them in here. And I can shift click this and it'll use all the buckets out of here. So it's a crafting inventory that comes out over here automatically. Uh, and I'm making these for our rail system over time. So I just thought, sure, why not, you know, for the future. Um, so that, that was pretty cool. And do we have anything else? You have to kill all the things. Apparently I finished the cow one at one point. There you go. Okay. And then we'll just go and dump you guys up here then. There we go. And then we'll just get rid of the excess junk out of here so we don't have to deal with it. Okay. So let's go into, uh, I think it's a good time to check out the multi-block one then. So let's go to multi-blocks here. And then we're going to get uh, time to get some steel. So this one's a, a pretty hefty quest. It wants you to have the following uh, stuff here. So a lot of clay, cobblestone, and flint. Well, the good news is I have actually a ridiculous amount. Where did I put the bag? Maybe I threw that one in here accidentally. That's probably what happened before. Um, there you go. There's all the clay you ever need. Now, I probably don't actually need all that because uh, I did another method, which you guys might find a little easier to do. Uh, so what I did is uh, around here, there's this red... Um, Oh, it's a vanilla kind of clay block. Um, do they call it a clay block? Yeah, they, it's this kind right here, actually. Red stained clay block. But uh, you find them on mountains, too. My friend Togi actually reminded me of this. But uh, you can see over here there's some there. Um, basically, on the mountains, they use different shades into to make it look nice. Well, if you take one of those, you can actually directly turn them into, in the, the pulverizer, you'll get clay dust directly from it. So I don't think you can do it by hand, but... Through the pulverizer, you get one clay dust. So a lot cheaper than doing a bunch of individual um, clay, basically. So that's what I did. And uh, I have a whole load of it somewhere around here. Here you go. Right there. So I thought that would be good. Um, so yeah, we got that. We need to make some brick dust. Now this one's going to be more of a, a nuisance because this is one you have to do through, I think, the pulverizer. Yeah, because you can't do it by hand. Well, maybe you can. Let's look here. Maybe one of these small ones. No. So you have to take fire brick? No, I think it could be any brick. Okay, yeah, it can be any kind of brick. And you can throw them in here for um, brick dust, basically. So you're going to need to get a bunch of it. So the good news is I can go and throw actual brick in there. There you go. And get a one-to-one. -one. Um, the bad news is it's a little expensive just because it is brick, right? Um, now we, we got some through, I'm saying I'm a lot today, aren't I? Uh, I got th some through the, oh, you know what? We have a bit more somewhere too. There you go. Um, the Railcraft, they have some there, but, uh, we can make those too. It's not like it's hard or anything. There you go. So, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn this, oh my goodness. Really? I didn't want this to process it accidentally. So I wanted to turn this off. I think we're good. And it does it quite quickly, so that's uh, good news too. So I don't want to use all uh, up all this, so I'll just do something like that. There you go. I don't know exactly how much you need because they screwed up the thing here. They used to do it better, and for some reason they uh, they decided to do it in ones. Probably to make it easier, but they did it in a bad way. Because it's like, well, how many do I need? You need 400, 432 unfired clay bricks. Uh, 432 bricks, 
108 clay bricks. Dust. 216. Okay, whatever. So we're going to get the uh, brick dust. And we need a brick. Um, we have bricks somewhere, don't we? A brick? Oh, there you go. Lots of brick here. There you go. That should be enough for that. And then we'll grab the... So I, I our numbers are going to be probably off and we're going to have to fix some stuff, but whatever. So there is that part of it now. Okay. At least we have that. You're going to have to do the calcite dust, the stone dust. The stone dust kind of sucks because... Well, I think we can actually do it through the macerator, though. Pulverizer. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's not a nice... I think you can do stone directly for it, so I think we're fine. Um, it might be smooth stone, I'm not sure, but I think we can get the... I don't think we're too screwed there, but we're going to have to come up with a plan on that. Um, but the, yeah, these guys are a little bit more... Oh, and you have to use regular... Oh, what the... Okay, so what does this says? Hint, the brick blast furnace can share wells, blah, blah, blah. If you're short on stone dust, you can get more by macerating cobblestone. Oh, okay. You'll need 432 unfired clay bricks, 432 bricks, 108 clay and brick dust, 216 compressed fire clay, and 216 fire clay brick. Collect all the required materials for these. First, you'll need to have to do... Blah, blah. Don't make fire until you've collected uh, all the gypsum you need unless you want to... Okay. So, I guess, uh, yeah, so there's those ones. I'm kind of on fire clay. I'm, oh, oh, I know why. It's just doing that because, okay, never mind. It's not a big deal, I don't think. I think it's doing that for the simple fact that it wants you to, I think we're good. It's to make clay. I think that's the whole point of it. And we don't actually need to worry about uh, making, uh, yeah, to make the bricks. Oh, sorry. So it's taking the clay to make the bricks to get the dust. So I think that's all that quest is. Here, I was worried we had to do, like, a whole crap ton of those. And I think that's what was throwing me off. Okay. Yeah, we can turn this on, I guess. Actually, I don't even think you can do anything with, with this in the furnace anyways. No. Okay. Take you, turn you on. There you go. Okay, you're done. There we have it. I just want the one to be fair, so. Oh, sorry. Oh, we already had these in my inventory. Yeah, we could throw them in there now. You just needed the one, so I guess that's why they did it that way. Um, so you don't have to have them all. Okay. Then you get to do the compressed fire. Okay, fire clay. Here we go. So clay dust and okay. Where does the gypsum and everything come into this? Oh, 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 that's a nasty. Oh, yeah, okay. Calcite, clay, okay. Now you know where that comes in play. Well, it's good we have that table downstairs. Okay, so I think we're good. So we need... How many fire bricks then do we need uh, here? Or fire clay, fire bricks. Doesn't matter, I guess. 216 of them. So that's where we're up to now. Okay. Do we have another chest? Or we can use one of these, I guess. That's fine. Just thinking I want to dump that in there. Okay, so... Um, 216 of these guys, huh? So, yeah, the best way to make this would be to, I guess you have to make, well, I'm so confused. Where were you? Oh, the, the two crafting things throw me off there sometimes. Okay, there you go. So you need brick dust, clay dust, and you get two of those. So that's actually pretty cool, to be fair. Um, but we're not going to have enough. Uh, I don't think so. Well, you do get two, so maybe we'll get pretty close. So let's see here. Let's see. Oh, it screwed the auto crafting there. 188. Yeah, so we didn't get quite enough. So we're going to have to make more of uh, the brick dust. At least you can uh, do this and smoosh it up. Okay, I can do that by hand. Let's do that. It'll be quicker, right? One, two. 
Okay, let's see. Good start for now. We'll take you, take you. Let's take you guys and rebuild you up, because that was rude of me. There you go. So, what are we up to now? Okay, we well, it said 216, I think. So, yeah, we have more than enough of that. So, how much of this am I going to get rid of? I guess, uh, yeah, I'm like not even paying attention to the math there. I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to get rid of a bunch of you and. Okay, two more. <laughs> there you go. So I just didn't want to go over. I'll do. I'll make more of it off camera f to extend it, but I thought that would be a good way of doing it for now. Okay, so there you go. And then we have to just. Uh, we just what? Okay, so we have to throw it in a compressor. That seems pretty simple to me. So our compressor is actually up here, right? Yeah. And we should probably fix our piping issue. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. What else is that other tool? Is that a wrench, I guess? And a hammer? Okay, we're going to need that wrench anyways here. So might as well fix this up if we can. Now, uh, yeah, because I derped up on this, obviously. That was a uh, oopsies. So we'll go here. That too. Oh yeah, be careful. You don't want that accidentally touching the water. I think we're fine anyways with the new way they do the piping, thankfully. Okay, and then... Do you care if it sinks? I don't... Yeah, I don't have an... Oh, actually, I don't have another chest for that in any... Or another hopper right now. So I'm not going to really care too much there. Okay, so we'll put the compressor in here. Oops. There you go. And yeah, we'll start throwing these guys in here and then we'll let them compress. And that's pretty good speed, to be fair. Now, if we had another hopper, we could have uh, done that. I don't think we... I mean, we might have another hopper. Let's see. No. The hopper wasn't expensive. It's just I don't have more hoppers sitting around right now. And you'd need to have a couple more, actually, because uh, you'd want to do the things. So I'll leave it alone for now. Okay, so we got that. And then... You got the gypsum dust you want to deal with, and then the calcite dust, which is up here. So, um, to make the calcite, obviously, you're going to do all the fun stuff. So, you're going to want to double it. So, to double it, you can do a macerator, I'm guessing, from the actual ore itself. What the? Oh, is there a difference between pulverizer and macerator at this point? I don't know. Let's look over here, then. Okay, here you go. So, calcite one in the pulverizer will give you two of the dust. So, that's what we want. You don't want to accidentally smelt that, obviously. Uh, I don't even know if you can. We just don't want to take those chances. So, there is the calcite. And, like I said, I also have the gypsum. So, we'll grab a stack of the gypsum. And then we'll throw it all into this. So, what we're going to do is we are going to definitely deactivate this again. So, let's go ahead and... Pull you... I don't know how to pull this out of here at this point. There you go. There you go. So that'll finish that. Yeah, that'll finish that up. And what you can do with this part, at least, is you can just throw this on the ground to uh, stop it. Like, do that instead. So you can go, still go through here, but obviously it'll stop, right? So we'll put one of these and one of these. And then I guess what we can do is we can use the hammer after it, like our actual hammer. Then we'll uh, soften it up here. Wash it out. Interesting. I didn't think there was going to be an issue here. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Ta-da. I derped there, and that'll can boot up here in a minute on its own, so... Okay, so it's the waiting game at this point. We'll let that run a bit. I might make some hoppers as well, just so we can uh, make this a little easier on us. But really, it's kind of the waiting. Uh, now, we do need to get the quartz sand. We've already done that before. That was a bit of a nuisance. Oh, no, that, that was fine. It was the glass part that was a nuisance. Um, so we've already done that. The stone dust uh, is macerating cobblestone. But look at that. We have so much clay dust. So that's not a problem. Or Sorry, stone dust. So that's not a problem at all. My brain gets a little wonky when doing all this stuff. It's like, oh, I 
there's so much stuff, but it's not that complicated. It's just, you know, when you're doing a video, sometimes it's just like it gets a little overwhelming because you're like, ah, I got to get it right. Got to do this and that. And it's like, take a moment, step back. It's, it's not so bad. And there we have it. And uh, I'll throw you in there for now. I'm trying to keep somewhat clean or organized. There you go. And we also need to make some of these guys, too. Welcome back. So do we have any iron plates left, really? No. Uh, actually, we can work on that. Let's do that, actually. So we want that anyways here. So what we want to do is make the hammer time. Yeah, that's exactly what we want to do. So let's go back to getting all our tools here. And then, yeah, that should be somewhat okay. And then what are we making? Uh, this again. Yeah, there you go. It's like something like that. Okay. And then we got to make one of these guys again. And then we got to get a piston. And the anvil, which, uh, there it is. There you go. And this will let us uh, hammer things down, which is going to be great. Now, there was an exact reason why I wanted this, and I already forgot what the hell that reason was. <laughs> so, uh, one of the things you can do here, I think, I'm just going to do this. I don't care about automating this at this time anyways. So, just throw it on here. Um, as long as you do the shift, it should have automatically, you can, yeah, you can see it got on there. So, if you shift down on the block, it should get there. So this is the same thing as hammering your ores or your, yeah, the uh, the dust and stuff like that. I'm not going to do that part. It was for something else I wanted, and I forgot what it was exactly. Might have just been because I didn't do it yet. Might have been just as simple as that. What else was I looking at? Because we're doing the multi-block, obviously. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's what it was. It was for plates, iron plates for efficiency. Ta-da! Okay, so we need more iron, but the good news is I've been working on this over time, so we do have that iron. And this will do, instead of doing a 2 to 1, this is a 3 to 2 ratio. So it'll hammer 3, you get 2 output. So I thought that might be a good idea here. There you go. Hopefully we don't have too much running, but I mean, we got quite a bit. Then again, this would have eaten a lot of steam when I placed it down. Plus our new machine will eat a lot of steam when it's placed down. So it'll hopefully be okay. But uh, yeah, this is a good way to basically get a little extra uh, plates here now. So, And I can get, uh, the good news on this one is I can actually get the concentrated berries once I finish this whole thing. Uh, because we didn't grab that originally, and I was like, oh crap. But we do have a second opportunity to grab them again, so. Ooh, shiny. I have a diamond vein. I gotta go mine it, though. Uh, lapis lucky. Oh, yeah, so we can do that. Now, I could macerate it, but uh, I'm not gonna worry about that too much yet. I'll just say we hammer the heck out of it. It's, it'll probably drop pretty... Well, it should be, like, redstone, I think. And I, Oh, this is the wrong one. Oh, whatever. Wrong material. This is exactly the one I didn't want to do, actually. Um, lapis or Oh, that is lapis. Oh, it is lapis. Oh, it comes out like that, huh? Okay, fine. Let's do that. So this is what you can put on your tools for fortune and looting and all that. I also have a wee bit of uh, lapis here. There you go. And that should finish that one. Thank you. And gold carrot, blah, 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 and bag. Oh, you get all of that. Okay. So I throw you guys in there. Thank you so much. Got that one done. You got the nice stuff. Oh, you have this one. Oh, yeah, the ectoplasma and glass. This was just making the, the spectral. Yeah. So the ectoplasma, that stuff is easy. You got a couple of them here anyways. Actually, does it make? Oh, actually, yeah, you only needed the one. It's a pretty uh, cheap recipe in that sense. And then you're going to need your chisel tool here. And then we already had some glass from before. But we're going to have to get more, obviously, here. This rain never ends. It should end any minute now. I think it's been going for most of the night anyway, so 
Okay, and then, yeah, we're going to take the chisel. I thought this is just a simple one to get that one done. There you go. And then this one. And the reason for this is I think mobs fall through it, but you don't. Uh, so you can use this to create a moat around your base uh, that drops mobs to their death in various ways. Just shuttle them off somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Capture pigman, blah, blah, blah. So uh, does this actually separate uh, babies too? I didn't realize that. Interesting. Potentially anyways from the sounds of it. So there we go. Another one done. Choice of reward. We'll get the steam bag, I think. Yeah. Just so we can get disappointed later. And good, good, good. Okay. So there's a few things here. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to do a bit of a cut right now. Just so we can continue working on, uh, you know, all the other stuff we're working on here. Oh, this one. That was annoying. I'm ignoring that one for now. Uh, but, yeah, we'll, we'll just let it do its thing right now and process these materials. And then uh, we'll come back and finish working on this. Okay. Oh, there we go. So these are uh, all done, basically. Or, no, I was doing, oh, doing the last one. Sorry, yeah. So there's one in the buffer. I uh, made some more iron plates. Uh, I need to cook. Where is my furnace? Her. That's, I think, my last amount. Yeah, so I've been working on the fire brick here, obviously. So that's awesome. This is good news. We're, we're getting there. So it's taking a bit of a grind on the weight on that, obviously. Once this is done, uh, I guess we'll crush this. And I guess we could put it in here. I wonder how fast this is. Let's see. So I guess we would be crushing. Let's make sure you're right about that. Crush to impure. Yeah. And then to wash. Okay. Well, that's okay. I mean, to be fair, saves durability. That's the big thing there. It does save the durability. So. Oh, you put in there. You butt. There you go. Okay. So, yeah. I would say, yeah, the big deal there is durability saved on your hammer. That being said, I do get a little lazy, so like ah uh, yeah you, you do work out but you know what i don't care yeah i had like a new one put in here too well it looks semi-used now okay so get you done oh man yeah chews it all up yeah that yeah to save a bit you pay a lot if you think about it I might go ahead and throw this other one in here. It is a waste. It's just, you know, I get impatient, right? It's like we got the option of doing the impatient mode, but like at the same time, obviously it gets a little, uh, it gets a little expensive. Oh, we have enough there. Oh no, I don't want that. I'm literally going to, no, nah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, and then what were we doing over here? Oh yeah, I need more iron because we waste it all. <laughs> You eat more iron for my stupidity there. There you go. More hammers for the future. There you go. And we'll get rid of you guys. Awesome. And then we just need to do some washing. We need some buckets. I think I have... Actually, they might be back up here, to be fair. Yes, they are. See, I did that clicking where I, like, it's just me. Um, I just, you know, brought it down too far and was kind of blinded, I guess. I don't know how to explain my uh, silliness there. There you go. Calcite. And then here you go. You go, buddy. You go. Look at him go. Pretty damn good. Pretty good speed, if you ask me. So, And you can get the steel version of these later on. And, of course, there's the LV. I think the LV ones might actually run at the same. Do they run at the same level as this or the steel? I feel like they run at the same level as that. But steam is twice as sufficient than the lv machines i think um not not saying like uh, efficiency as like doubling or anything like that i mean efficiency as in power usage basically at least with steam conversion so uh, but there you go that's that's not too shabby if you ask me so uh let's go ahead and uh, let's check our list here so i think we're good yeah now, the part that's going to get a little annoying with this one is, well, I saw that one of them was like a liquid, so that's probably going to get a bit annoying. Let's go ahead. Actually, we'll just get rid of the ties and bring them up here for now. 
this is for our future project. Oh my goodness, yeah, everything's kind of... Actually, this is supposed to be our miscellaneous chest anyways. This is our wood chest, blah, blah, blah. So I'm guessing I'm going to require water. So I'm just thinking I might as well move this over here if that's the case. And uh, yeah, so let's check this out, shall we? So we need to now make um, fire brick, right? Directly? Oh no, we made the fire brick. Derp. We need to make fire bricks. There you go. So fire bricks is, so what's this one? Oh, okay. Oh yes, we got to get that sand crap. That's right. So we got to grab some sand. We got the stone dust, calcite. Okay, that's all good. So we have all this and then we're going to get the sand. Um, so sand would be down here anyways. There we go. We'll do two of them. So yeah, I thought maybe I had three of them. Wasn't sure the first one registered or not, so I was like, yeah. Okay, back. Well, welcome back. Okay. Oh, and we're going to need smooth stone. We have a pile of smooth stone down here, don't we, yet? Do, 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 do. There we go. Make an army of those and just throw a bunch of those away. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that sand again. I hope this was right. It was like this, right? Yes, quartz sand. Quartz sand, quartz sand, and quartz sand. There we have it. And then, uh, what were you getting rid of? Oh, there we go. And then, oh yeah, stone dust was another one we needed. And then, I guess, was clay dust part of this too? Or was that, oh no, this one was for the brick, I think. So I think we're good actually with that. I think. There's always a use for that anyway. So let's put all that in there and let's see what we're coming up with now. So this is all to make this here. So I think you might be able to do this even though you don't. Yeah, there you go. So there you go. That's actually pretty badass. Okay. And there we go. Let's eat this sub. I need to do some more shakes or something. Uh, yeah, let's go grab our water out of here. And I don't know if we have everything at this point. Quartz sand. It should work that way. Oh, you do use clay dust in there. My mistake. Okay. It was for this part. Or part of this part, to be fair. I do think it was also for the brick or something, but... Okay, there you go. Oh, I didn't even realize... Oh, can I not do that either? Okay, you probably don't like this here, I'm guessing. That's one thing. You should have that done. You have the clay dust. Oh, wrong clay. Oh, gosh. Got worried when I saw that. I don't know if it actually has an issue with that. Oh, you don't have... Oh, it doesn't have an empty bucket. Oh, empty bucket is also part of this little uh, setup here. That uh, would have been a mistake on my part. Yay, there we go. And it saves the history here too, so you can kind of rinse and repeat this. Now we have to do the other recipe here where we take the brick and put it in here. So it, honestly, if you want to do this easier, um, having two of this uh, you know, setup would be easier, but that's fine. We, we have what we have, right? So um, let's put that in there, and there you go. So we have the bricks put in there now. Then we can go back and get uh, a bunch of these guys done. There you go. We can go back to the bricks again and kind of get a bunch of those done. There we go. And how many of these do you have to get? Like 36. Okay. Plus you have to make, that's probably part of it. Okay, we're good. Um, so it's just now doing the, the confusion, you know, like going back and forth and getting the right numbers here. So we go back to this one. Perfect. Then we go back to this one. There you go. And we could have probably done more there. Yep, there you go. And then we can go ahead and get more water. So we can just do a bit at a time, to be honest. Get, like, most of it, but not all of it. There you go. And then put you guys in there. Oh, yeah, but you need the empty buckets. There you go. And then you get, you get more bricks. There you go. And put those guys in there for those ones. Perfect. Those ones. There you go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. That's working out, actually. Okay. And then, yeah. Oh, and we have this one here we missed out. There you go. And we'll grab out more water. It's a fun process. This helps. Uh, two tables would have been probably cleaner and organized, but this is actually working surprisingly really well. So, 
Um, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. And we'll do this again here. So we'll go like that. And then let's go with you guys. And then we'll go back with this one here. And then we'll go with that. Oh, are we? It was 36, right? Just to confirm. Yeah, we're just one off. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so let's get one bucket done then here. Now, I'm going to do more eventually on this, but I think this is good for now. And then there you go. There we have it. So we have 36. And let's just re hope like we didn't screw up anywhere. No. You screw up one thing here. You're, you're crying, right? So there you go. So what was else was on the corner of those? Oh, just those, those. Okay, never mind. We did it right. I saw the wrench and I thought, was there extra stuff there? And it's like, no, no, you're good. You only have nine crafting grid. I think there's bigger crafting grid later on, but for now it's nine. And there we have it, my friends. We have it all, I think. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So we're going to do concentrated essence berries then. We're going to go ahead and claim those. And we can put these directly on a crop stick. So I'll probably do this underground just to protect them. Maybe I'll do like a, a tunnel way or something. But uh, yes. <laughs> so what is the size of this even? I think I don't. Oh, crap. Did we hear something or didn't we hear something? I got like raided the last night. So like obviously I don't want to deal with that again, but it's like it's a really not the safest place to be at night. Maybe we'll bring it down here. Anyways, um oh it tells you. It's a three by four by three. So three wide, four high, three long. Okay. And hollow. So let's try that out. Um let's and let's keep it in its own little chunk area here. So, cause you're gonna want to keep it all into one thing. You can you can spread it out, I guess, right? I think we're gonna be good. So, I think we're gonna be good here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, uh, you screwed up. And you need a wrench, mm -hmm. iron. Okay, we might be fine with that. It's not the other kind of wrench. If it was steel wrench, you'd be sorry, but we do have one wrench that might actually work on that, so I don't think we would have a problem, but... Oh, we do have a wrench. Damn it. I gotta be careful with that. I think I've done that a couple times accidentally with tools and lost them. There was another pack I played, and the items go all into your inventory automatically. That was a beautiful feature, to be fair, because I derp up like that, but... That's not the pack's fault or anything like that, right? It was just like one of those... Uh, oh, and it was... Yeah, this looks so weird because I'm not used to a small one like this. I guess that's my problem right now. This is tiny compared to what I'm used to. Okay, and then we'll put you in there. Look at that. Okay, and then once it's done building here, it should be good. And I think... I don't know if it gives an error if it's not working. I don't remember. Um, but obviously it should work. So you just put... We're going to use the Coke hole because it gave me some. We throw it in there, and there you go. And it's processing mm -hmm. it. And literally, once we pull one single steel out of that, um, we get, I think, an achievement for, hello, you know, like, thank you for playing. And uh, at that point, we're, we're, we've won. We, we, we got into the steel age, in a sense. Um, now, keep in mind, you know, then you would do, like, the nether unlocking, stuff like that. Obviously, I got a little head on that one, right? But uh, we also have a retrieval quest for this one. It's kind of funny, because this is for your second version. Uh, yeah, it's pulling up already, um, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to actually make another one, and I'm going to expand this. I'll probably expand it. You can. There's a, a four times one and a two times one, too, so 64. I'm guessing this is going to be... Well, it could be two, 128. might be even more, but that's fine. And then, uh, yeah. So I'll probably make this up to four times in size, to be fair, just because uh, it shares the walls and it's really efficient. And uh, you can keep building it up. You can actually go like eight wide kind of thing or eight, you know, long. Uh, you just keep it in the same pattern. You have one behind it, one in front of it kind of thing. And you'll see it when I add more to it. I'll probably do that off camera, to be fair. But uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice setup, to be fair. So let's go over here. And those are going to plant. So I'm going to just literally put those on a crop stick. Nothing special at all. Nothing that you haven't seen already um, for that. And then I'm just going to get rid of you guys. I know I need to do some more cleaning. I will get there. 
Okay, so now that that is done, uh, what do we have here? Automation. Oh, do you know you want to automate your smelter because you're planning on making stacks and stacks of glass blocks? No problem. Craft the orange bronze pipe. Place it under the faucet. Make sure you connect the pipe to a faucet with a wrench. Now molten fluid. Oh, that's how you do it. Uh, a hopper and a chest underneath while upon a no faucet. What is this part then? A large bronze pipe. What the hell is this for? Oh, hoppers. <laughs> I'm like, what is that for? Um, yeah, let's do that. It's a little like, bit of an expensive recipe, but... Actually, I think it's all in here right now. But, uh, oh, actually, did I just take it off? Oops. Ah! You know when you think you're smart and you have all the hotkeys, you know, figured out, and then you... It's not that I don't know where the hotkeys and the right buttons are. My brain kind of just, like, derps up and it just is like, nope, not happening. Okay, so... Oh, you get both of them. Okay, cool. Okay, and then, yeah, so you can automate this. Basically, that's all you're doing. You're throwing this here. Now, the problem here you have to be careful is because I have a really ugly and messy setup here. Um, so the fluids might want to pour into this. Oh, my goodness. I got liquid ender pearls. Yes. Sorry, I'm excited by that. That's a big deal. Um, Enderman must have gotten stuck in there and died. Multi-block goals. Oh, we're already in there. How many do we need? 16 ender pearls. Okay, so how do you make the cast on this anyways? A wooden pan. Yeah, I am not. Oh, okay. I just saw it for something else there. Okay, it's, uh, you don't need that one, I guess. You need to get a stone version of it, right? Is that a pan? Pan pattern? And yes, we got cobblestone in here. We got this. And then we can break you because we already got rid of you a long time ago. There you go. So this is how you get your ender pearls anyways. And we put you here and we're going to put you here. We're going to make our thingamabomper. And then we're going to go back to liquid ender. Oh my goodness. There you go. So there's not a ton of them there, but yeah, look at that. First ender pearl made out of there. So later on, you can actually get, like, maybe you'll get lucky and you'll find this ender, you know, endermen, or maybe one will go in there accidentally, but uh, basically they'll, they'll smeal. Oh, there you go. We got it. I didn't realize to give it to you like that. Thank you. Thank you. And there we have it. Our first legit piece of steel. Awesome. And look at the ender pearls. That's cool. So you need a bunch of these for that quest, 16, but uh, uh, that works. And oh, you want to pick that up just so we have it for the future. There you go. Um, but yeah, so the other part here is we can go ahead and just do this glass. And then I'm guessing one of these can't be poured probably in the thing. So that's which one you figure out. I don't know. I don't want to ruin it, but at the same time, I want to find something that can't be poured. Like, blood, I don't think can be done this way. Yes, okay. So you do blood, and then you do molten glass, and then that way it won't leak out on you. So what we do is we put you here, and then we put you here, I guess? And then I'm guessing we can just go in like this, right? We just open it like this. I just was guessing. I actually don't really know, to be fair. Let's read that uh, quest again on how it or did that. Um, what was here? Okay. Um, bronze pipe and place it under the faucet. Oh, under the faucet. Wait, what? Okay, that, that works. Okay. Um, so what we need to do is put it under a faucet. So we're going to have to carve a little spot for this, I guess. A little setup for this. But I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. That's cool. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to place this faucet here. I don't know if I've ever actually done this. I think I've seen it, but I don't think I've ever cared to really, you know. It's probably one of those things that are just like, meh. Um, there you go. So I don't know if it'll automatically pour or yeah. So you're going to have to open this up, I think. And there you go. Okay. And then the, the whole point of the hopper, by the way, is we've talked about this, right? You put the hopper under it and the hopper will automatically uh, do its little, uh, pouring here. 
Let's go ahead and get some food here. We can get you oh, another sub there too. Okay, so we'll just steal somebody's hopper over here, I guess. This one here is fine. And then we'll get a chest. And then that way you can make lots of glass now this way. So this is a good way to automate that, obviously. You can use that to also automate those nuggets, it was a suggestion. That being said, um, you remember the gold uh, nuggets that I accidentally made? I'm pretty sure there's iron versions like that. So all I have to do is look for the right material to do the same derpiness. And then who cares, right? So, okay. So this is a lot lower than normal. I guess you could raise everything, but that's fine. There you go. And I'm guessing this is just continuing to fill up, or... Oh, it, it stopped. Okay. So I guess if it stops when it fills up too much, so... It, it, so it might have a buffer. I don't know if it can... Oh, no, actually, there you go. Yeah, maybe... So you might have to come back and turn it on from time to time, but I'm guessing overall it's pretty, pretty good. At least that's what I assume here. There you go. Anyways, good way to automate your glass. Just make sure you pick something like that blood, for example, to go in its way. Now, blood can be casted right on a table, and then it will... Uh, uh, yeah, if you do it directly on a table, uh, it will turn into little blood circling my boppers, and you don't have to worry about it at that point. But uh, cool, okay, so what else here? We, oh, I guess we did that one then. So, ooh, seam bag thing or two? I'm getting those. I like to be cheap, and those were pretty good ones. Okay. It showed it in multiple areas, but it was just for the one, so there you have it. So I guess in the future, what we'd work on to, now that you have actually legitimate steel unlocked, um, I think the way we'd work on to it is looking at, oh, yeah, Baron, so you have to do that wrought iron. Um, that raw iron is a must. So I guess let's look at this. Let's do that thing we were talking about then. So let's go. It's going to be like one of these, like pyrite. Let's see here. Pyrite. So if you macerate that and then you take it and then you put it into a smelter, okay, you get that. So we don't want the pyrite. Let's look at this one. So let's see. You into the macerator. You come out as that. Okay. It might not even be in these, to be fair, um, but it might. That's why I'm checking. So you come out as no. So there might not even be one for iron. I feel like I remember seeing one back in the day, but I could be wrong. Like now let's look at nugget here. Nugget. Nugget. Okay, maybe we should type in iron nug. Oh. So yeah, I vanilla doesn't have iron nuggets by default, huh? Is that like a later on thing or did it ever have them, I wonder? probably is wrong you can just saw oh my goodness that is so easy you can what the frig you can just saw it to be fair that's easier but let's just see okay so you can do it from oh the crushed iron ore oh so actual iron ore purified we'll ignore the purified ones but yeah so it's like the base like actual iron ore one so interesting okay but we just saw that other one there, so that's uh, that kind of just lets us cheat that. So screw that. Oops. Now, do you want to do that many? Because that would be kind of stupid. But <laughs> if you want to know a secret, <laughs> I'm stupid. Uh, I think I just lost my. Oh no, I got it. Did I drop something over there? No, maybe not. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a new one of these, and we're gonna play Monsieur Stupid. And uh, what were we going to do with this, my friends? We're going to... Oh, we already did that. What about the iron? There it is. We're going to do it this way here. Maybe we can't do that. Or maybe... Uh, you know what? My, ah, there we go. Boom. I love it. Okay. And then wrought iron, which is basically smelting it. Which, the easy way to do this is doing it down here because we have literally an entire array of nine furnaces which is exactly the amount we need to put all these in here at once so might as well get this part done it's for the future anyways or at least you know started you know what i mean okay so boom 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 
Boom, boom, boom. Do, 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 do. I don't actually know the full thing. It was catchy tune. Maybe a little perverted though. <laughs> okay. One, one, two, three. And you notice I do that, by the way. The you know, that way they're all even, and I'm taking them out. And they last a little longer. That's a big key. Is lasting a little longer, so I don't have to uh, deal with them as often. There we go, my friends. How awesome is that? So it wants me to get 63, so we'll do that. And uh, then you'll turn those into raw iron. Now, how do you do that? Probably compressor. Yeah, compressor is how you do that. So we're going to do that. Why not? Because uh, I think that'd be kind of cool. So I filled that up recently, so I'll ignore that. You know what? I think it might be time to fill up our guys upstairs, though. I don't always uh, keep an eye on this. Oh, you're doing pretty good, though. So make sure you get out the tiny dust. I actually, I ooh, I don't know if it was a Greg Tech one or it was another modded one that might use Greg Tech. So I can't tell you 100% sure, but I'm actually pretty sure. So don't quote me on this because I don't want to be you know, blamed if it doesn't work. But I'm pretty sure you can leave the, tile, uh, the, the tiny dust in there and it will not clog it up. So it just, you know, obviously you're not using it. Oh, fire brick. Oh yeah, because I think we made extra. Whatever, it's a whole. It's all over. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna make more obviously off camera, but uh, for now it's good. So we just need to get. Uh, oh, you're gonna have enough now. So perfect. Oops. Do do do. There you go. That's uh, actually exactly what we need. Sixty three, because it's doing uh, the seven, right? So. And then compressor, awesome. We just have to wait on that one though. He's a little bit slow. Okay, and that will let us get into the first basic of that. Now there's more stuff you have to do for that too. Well, maybe not, I actually don't know. Maybe that's later. Um, I don't wanna actually do LV yet, but I might just click it just to say, hey, you know, we never did our clipboard. I don't know if we have one of those available. It's like I'm a little lazy, so if we had one, sure. If not, nah. I'm too lazy for that, but I need to do that eventually. Just unlock the quest. And then, yeah, so you got this one here. The So we already looked at this one. So the molten, uh, molten. Okay, so I think we looked at this. This one is obsidian. So we can mine that? I think we can mine with our pick. I'm not even sure yet, to be fair. We can put steel on our pick soon because, uh, yeah, that'll get us another level up, actually. Uh, and molten aluminium, and then, yeah, steel, and then obsidian. And it'll give you the elomite. And then this is what you require to then make the tool forge. The tool forge, I think, uses the... So basically, the you know, alu aluminium is going to be a big part of that. But, um, yeah, that's a pretty big one there, so... Yeah, we're going to want to get that. Does it even tell you how many you need, or does it just say... Okay. Uh, mod pack, mod pack, mixing, blah, blah, blah. Recipe and dust. Leave the rest. Uh, you need 16 ingots in the smeltery to make two large plates. There you go. So it does the math for you. Um, actually, it does the math for you, but the math that it doesn't do for you is probably the, uh, the part that's going to stuck the most, actually, is... Because they do, I'll just do this in my head later. <laughs> we're on a piece of, uh, it's just, you got to do this part, right? So it tells you in these numbers. So it's 80, 32, 30, you get the number ratio. It's like, what the hell? That's the problem that's annoying. So, but we'll figure that out later on. Good. You're almost done. But uh, you get some steel, a thomium rod. Yeah, parts can be replaced. Ithomic. I think this actually gives you another modifier, potentially. Good for some stuff. Gold block, obviously, is fun. Steel is probably the most valuable there. Now, once you start doing the steel stuff, they like to give you some basic steel as a reward. So it's kind of a nice thing. Not bad, not bad. Okay. We have one more to go, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay. It's in the buffer there. 
Okay, what else can we look at here? Okay, so steel stuff. I'll probably do that off camera. I mean, you don't need me to do an upgrade on Tinker stuff again, you know, obviously. There's the reinforced X breaking. I think that's like just a bunch of obsidian you throw on it. You got the trash can here for fun. Um, that's actually a pretty easy one, too. It requires one of our precious ender pearls, though. But uh, it is something I think we can afford. Was there just a wrench involved there? I think so. So there you go. You can get that done. Oh, that might have been a hammer, actually. Oh, it is a hammer. There you go. So you can permanently dis destroy stuff in there. Um, just don't do it accidentally. <laughs> I'm putting that away because, you know, you, you watch me play, right? So eh, safety reasons, we're not going to touch that. But hey, look at that. We got more stuff here. There you go. We'll have to open some bags someday. We can actually do that one up bag upgrade here soon, too. Okay. Are you done, my friend? There you go. So we got that quest done, right? There you go. And then we have this you can unlock now. So you can make the LV machine casing. Okay, so that's easy. I mean, just that's just the casing, right? So you need... What do you need for that? Is that just steel? Oh, no, you need... Oh, that's for that part. Okay. So you need steel for the one and a bit more for the other. So... We can hammer this down at least. So, I'll th so it's like screw it at this point. I don't care. So you need eight steel for that. It's a lot of steel. And then you need another piece of steel for that. At that point, I just just let it do it. It's all you know. Or I'll just maybe I'll grab it out of there. Actually, when it does the eight. There you go, and then I'll grab it out of there, and I'll finish the last one I need. This is the hard, hard, the hard part where it's like, hmm, you're not gonna get, uh, you're not gonna save enough here in the future. So, uh, there you go. So we got you done. There you have it. Okay, and then you need to make the LV. Ah, oh, but we don't have this stuff yet. That's rubber. We haven't touched rubber yet. So, I'm actually happy about that because I, I don't really want to do that yet. Rubber is not hard, but you need to, It's a bit of a nuisance, if I recall. We have to... Uh, I think it's the alloy for that one, to be fair. Ah, uh, yeah. Alloy... Yeah, here you go. You need sulfur dust and raw rubber. Raw rubber, I think, is just macerating or extracting, maybe? Well, it's just extracting uh, sticky resin, so that's not too hard. Anyways, I think that's good. That was fun. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll work on that in the future. But that's, you know, by far something I don't need to like rush into. Oh, I'll make another pack pack here because for that one. But anyways, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.